Meat Boy is back and I think we have a nickname for Gina. She can be the sausage girl. And she has been that begging. Sound good, the sausage girl. She has been begging me to be in a video because she wants to see you camera people oh so much. Hey! And today we are going to make carnivore chicken cutlets. And for any of you that had some Italian American ancestry, you all know that your mother or grandmother made these horrible chicken cutlets with this uh, 4C breadcrumbs. But and delicious. I wouldn't say that. And like a big jar of Wesson soybean oil. That's what my grandma has. That's what my mother made. And I mean, my father still makes them like that. That's why we have this. But we are going to do a healthier version. So let's get started. So no fried buckets of fried chicken? Maybe, maybe in a future video. Oh, sounds fun. Ingredient wise, this can get a bit expensive. I have some organic chicken breasts from Whole Foods. Uh, these were $10 a pound. Uh, here we have our dipping station. So this is a mixture of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese as well as Pecorino Romano cheese. If you're only gonna choose one, I would do Parmesan. I just mixed them both together because I had both and I wanted to kind of cut them. Very, very salty. So we don't really have to season this at all with salt or pepper. This is a mixture of eggs and fish sauce. If you don't like fish sauce, you know, the extra seasoning, the umami, then uh, you don't have to put the fish sauce in there because the other part of the breading, these pork rinds, it's like very, very funky too. I was blending these up in the food processor to make this breading and it just smells like, you could tell it's very fermented. Uh, these are 40% less fat. I mean, obviously we have some omega-6 concerns with the pork rinds. That's where we're getting lower fat. You know, we got organic omega-3 eggs, probably the best stuff you can get from the store. And the raw Parmigiano and Pecorino Romano is a very, very high quality cheese. By getting the organic chicken breast, we remove most agrochemical concerns, herbicides and pesticides. And since it's lean, since it's chicken breast, uh, we're good to go on that. And in regards to actually cooking the chicken, I'm gonna use some pastured New Zealand butter. Gotta have that butter. That's nice and yellow. Uh, the reason this is expensive is because Four to five dollars worth of these pork rinds is only really enough for one or two cutlets. So maybe you could mix like the cheese with the pork rinds, make it a little less expensive. Yeah, you know, if you get chicken cutlets that are already pounded out, that's great. But the reason we have to kind of pound this out as opposed to you know just breading the breast itself is this cooks so quickly. You know the crust will brown up really fast, and if it's a thick piece of chicken breast, it's not going to cook. That being said, you know you could just throw this in the oven after you sear each side. <laughs> oh, thing I should do now. So we're gonna flatten this a little bit. So we're gonna get our butter in the pan on a medium heat. Hey, camera people. While I was cooking, I'm going to tell some jokes to try to make him laugh. you have any new jokes today, Gina? No, but my jokes are already excellent. And We've said that one already. Excellent. This is where you want to be the most careful. Just make sure when you're putting the Parmesan cheese on the chicken that it's really covered and Ooh. dried out so that it absorbs the egg and, and this adheres pretty well. So we have a nice even covering of the cheese. Goes into the egg and fish sauce mixture. Just quickly drip a bit off. And then into the, the pork rinds. And you wanna make sure your hands are dry for this part. Let's get these pork rinds on here. Flip this over. It's pork-tastic. So I got a butter, a little brown, some flavor. This is gonna go straight from the breading. You know, a lot of breading on this, as you guys can see, into the butter. Medium, medium low heat. Since the pork crust is so dry, as I said, this browns up very, very quickly. So if you put this on a medium high heat, the crust is gonna burn before the inside of the chicken cooks. When I flip this over, you just wanna be careful, use a spatula because you don't want any of this expensive breading to fall off. We have a nice brown crust. Put a little more butter to finish this. 
Maybe another two, three minutes on this side. Oh, no. Man, doesn't that look good? Nice deep golden crust. Mmm. Butter flavor throughout. Gotta have that butter. I'm gonna now taste this delicious cutlet my brother just made me. As she scrapes ceramic into her chicken cutlet from the plate. I, I take back the not salting the chicken because even though the Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and the pork rinds are very salty, the chicken is under seasoned. Um, at least, I mean, I, I love really salty food, so you probably don't have mm. to salt it. It's good. You could actually taste the brown butter. What you could also do here is, you know, put some red sauce on this, some like organic tomato sauce, put some mozzarella cheese, sprinkle a little more Parmesan on it, put your, you know, leftover pork rinds on top, throw that in the oven, broil it, have a really, really nice chicken Parmesan. That's what I would actually do. And if you're going to put the effort into breading this chicken and doing this, I would make a really nice sauce or do something a little bit extra to add more flavor to this. Mm. It's super crunchy. The chicken's really moist because you don't have to cook it long. Kids would absolutely love this. You put some raw cheese on there, get some more nutrients in. They're getting the omega-3s, the fat-soluble vitamins from the eggs. It is so delicious. I love the crunch. Look how delicious and white this is. You can see the white meat. Mm. So thank you guys for joining us today. If you can please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and of course guys, share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, definitely check out Frankie's Free Range Meat, high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. You can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. If you haven't read my book, be sure to check it out on Amazon. And if you guys want to see a bunch of other recipes, we've done a recipe video pretty much every week for the last year. From cheesecake to ice cream, carnivore crab cakes, a bunch of interesting stuff. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Want to say bye, Gina? Bye, be wonderful YouTube viewers.